This video is sponsored exclusively by our friends at Adjuster Pro. To get and maintain licenses for all licensing states plus CE training and credits, visit adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro. In this Adjuster TV exclusive, I sit down with Melissa Britton, CEO of Adjuster Pro, to chat about all things licensing. And here's Melissa. Hi, I'm Melissa Britton, and I'm the CEO of Adjuster Pro. Adjuster Pro provides licensing and compliance services for the adjusting industry. Originally, Adjuster Pro began because we had a couple of adjusters, um, Adam Gardner, Dan Kerr, who were adjusting and realized there was such a need, not necessarily for getting people to job sites and down to hurricane situations, but that they would show up there without licenses. So the guys basically said, hey, that would be a great thing to be doing is helping people actually get their licenses to get started in this industry. Over the years, it's evolved. Um, originally, it, everything was done in Texas. So they launched licensing courses in Texas. They were all taught live. Back then, the only license anybody ever needed was Texas. Um, Texas was the reciprocal license of choice. Reciprocity was hardly even a word that was used. It was just, how do you get a license? Best way to do that, get Texas, go to work. And pretty much, I would say 90% of you know, everyone who started in the adjusting field back then started with Texas. Um, they taught everything live back then. They'd have classes of 100 people come in, um, sometimes on location at hurricanes uh, or just post hurricanes. They'd have 100 people in a huge classroom and they'd, and they'd teach them the licensing course, help them get their application submitted and get them out the door as soon as possible with a license so that they could literally go to work two weeks later. Over the years, we've, we've not only has Adjuster Pro evolved, but we've evolved because the industry has evolved. No longer is it a situation where you can just get your Texas license um, and go to work. Uh, every state has their own licensing requirements. Uh, many of them are similar, so it's, so it's not like it's creating the wheel every time for a new state, but basically you, you need to go and get your home state license now. It's not just get Texas and, and head to wherever you live. So um, over the years, our job as licensing providers has kind of evolved. As training providers, we've had to kind of accommodate the needs of the industry. Texas led to Florida, Texas and Florida led to Indiana, Alabama, these other states where we could go in and, and help folks get their pre-licensing done. And over time, that's attracted um, not just independent adjusters, but also big carriers who need their people to have licenses in multiple states. So it started as one or two courses really geared toward the independent adjuster, the catastrophe adjuster has evolved into what we've tried to do is, is provide a solution for anyone from any state. So whether you're an independent adjuster or a big carrier, we want you to be able to have what you need in any state for your folks to get licensed um, and then taking that a step further to have continuing education for them to stay licensed and, and remain compliant through their renewal cycles. Basically what Adjuster Pro is now is a provider of a national solution for the independent adjuster of one person to the major carrier of um, up, to, up to thousands of adjusters who need to have a, a kind of more of a um, single solution. They don't have to go to multiple vendors in order to fulfill the needs of their whole clientele. So from a product standpoint, there are some states that make licensing really easy. Um, they have pre-licensing available. Um, anywhere that there is pre-licensing available, we want to be able to provide that, make it as easy as possible. So Texas, Florida, Indiana, Alabama, Arkansas, we have pre-licensing courses where you can take the course. It includes an exam that is an exemption from the state exam. Um, in Indiana and Alabama, it's a little different because we are the actual exam providers for the state. So it's not necessarily an exemption, but in our course, you would take all of your pre-licensing and the exam. So with those five states, once you're done with a pre-licensing course, you're good to go. You don't need any other training. For other states like Georgia and Mississippi, there's a pre-licensing requirement, but it doesn't provide an exemption from the state exam. So for those folks, they would have to go and take the pre-licensing 
and then go and take a state exam at a testing center. Multiple testing centers provide services for, for different states. Then there's a third group of, of courses that are basically exam prep. So for 20 plus states, whether you, whatever your training is, you still have to go and sit for the state exam. And in those situations, we provide exam prep for all of those courses. There are also states that require an appraiser license in addition to your adjuster license in order to be able to handle an auto claim. We also offer those. So there are eight states where an appraiser license is available and we have those for those people who need those as well. Then for all of those, those groups, most states require continuing education in order to keep your license uh, continually. So every two years, most of the time, you would need to take continuing education, fill out your renewal application, and that's really what it takes to, to stay compliant. In the same way that we have really tried to stay ahead of things from a licensing perspective, we've also done the same thing with CE. So our goal has always been to see the need of the industry, what's that next thing that, that the industry is gonna need, and to make sure that we provide it when it's needed. So that would include, like I said, just a pre-licensing, just your exam prep, appraiser courses, continuing education, and whatever that next thing is that's, that's coming around the bend, we're gonna try to, try to see what that need and fill it. So as we've branched into being a national solution for adjuster licensing and training, obviously the model of having live training in every location that we're going to be offering an, a solution for, for it uh, really wasn't a model that could continue. About 10 years ago, we moved to an online model. We started, again, Texas Online, see how that went. We were offering live courses as well as online courses, and what we found was people really did love the online format. They could take their courses wherever they wanted to. They could work from home. They could um, complete them at their own pace. Um, they could backtrack, review something, prepare for their exam in a way that, that is not available really in live training. Obviously, live training has its benefits too, but we realized in order for us to really provide what everyone needs, what everyone is going to need to get their license, we had to switch to an online model. So we chose to do that in a cut ties and, and move to the online format pretty much exclusively, uh, and it proved to be very beneficial to the consumer. Um, not just from a not just from a course feasibility standpoint and the ability to to get through courses and review courses, but also from a actual ability to pass their state exams. We we saw a lot of um, success in the online model, and that was really what was the biggest litmus test for us was to be able to say, hey. It's all fine and dandy if we switch to this online model because it's good for Adjuster Pro. But what was most important was, can people still get through their exams and, and learn what they need to learn and get their licenses so they can get to work? And what we found was our ability to offer thousands more online classes uh, to, to these folks really put boots on the ground a lot quicker than it did back when we were doing a live, live training model. One thing that we've always felt is very important to our industry and to our ability to provide good courses is for us to really understand the industry, really understand the compliance side of things, really understand the adjuster side of things, what do adjusters face in the field, what do managers face when they're trying to keep a lot of people compliant, there are just so many things that come into play when you're trying to be an adjuster, trying to get licensed as an adjuster, trying to use reciprocity to get additional, additional state licenses, but then also from a manager's perspective, keep a lot of people compliant. And so the direction our website has evolved into really is this resource for pretty much anyone in the adjusting field. We have resources for independent adjusters. Why become an adjuster? What can you expect from adjusting? How can you be a better adjuster? How do you get your license? We have resources for carriers, managers. How do you keep your people compliant? What states are reciprocal with others? Which states license adjusters? How can we get our people licensed in as many states as possible in the most effective and efficient way? And then we have resources for state departments of insurance. We've partnered with the Indiana Department of Insurance, Alabama, Arkansas, and that's on the State Department level. How can we fulfill a need for them? And not only is that interpersonal, back and forth from a, from a 
direct standpoint, but providing resources for them to go on to our website and see what other states are doing, how that all works, how those states kind of play together, um, has been a has been a real source for the industry to point to the point where I know there are a lot of people that'll come up to me at trade shows and say, we don't really have a need for your product, but we use your resources so much. You know, maybe they don't license adjusters, but it's really become a source of um, adjusting and compliance uh, expertise, really, for the industry to, to draw on. We take a lot of pride in that, um, not just from a, hey, great, we have people visiting our website, but from a, because we have a lot of people visiting our website, we need to make sure that everything we have is accurate and up to date. It's one thing to be accurate two years ago in the adjusting industry, but literally two years ago means nothing right now. It's, it's making sure that every month, every year, that what's, what's there is, is up to date and providing the best information for people who visit the site. So in addition to our licensing and continuing education, we offer Xactimate training. It's, it's such a, a needed um, piece for new adjusters to be able to, to get in there right off the bat and have their Xactimate under their belt. We offer a webinar style online live course and most people finish the course with what they need to become level one certified. And it's not uncommon for someone to finish the course, do a little repetition, a little bit of, of practice and go on and achieve their level two certification as well. So basically if they were to finish our course and a hurricane hit the next day, they'd be able to complete the course, hit the ground running with our tactical exact mate class, they're going to be prepared to go and handle claims. It also carries eight to 12 CE credits depending on what state you're in as an adjuster. So an adjuster needs to get their home state license first if your state licenses adjusters. If your state doesn't license adjusters, then you would need to get what's called a designated home state license. That license is going to act like your, your resident adjuster license, but just you're from a state that doesn't license adjusters. Reciprocity is a great example of something that brings people to our site. It's so hard to know the rules about each individual state to the point where we've created this big reciprocity map that's, that's on our site. You can go there, you can click on your state, and it's gonna show you exactly which states are reciprocal with your state. Um, sometimes that you won't need to take any additional courses, but just knowing, okay, I can go and get these ones right off the bat is really helpful. There are a few states that don't have any reciprocity. So just to name those, get those out of the way, New York, California, Hawaii, they are not reciprocal with other states, so you are gonna to have to go and actually take their exam in order to get their your license there, whether whether you have your home state license or not. You could have 20 licenses and still need to go take those exams. New York is a great example of a license that has become something that's really valuable. And the reason it's valuable isn't because necessarily there are a lot more claims in New York, but there are a lot fewer claims adjusters in New York because that license is difficult to get. You have to go take the state exam. The state exam is difficult and so a lot of people just say, unless they absolutely need to have a New York license, they just, don't, they just don't bother with it. And so New York has become what we've called in the past the golden ticket of licenses. We, we have our New York exam prep course that we spend a lot of time just making sure that it's up to date and, and is getting the job done. We'll, we, we evaluate it regularly. We, we request feedback on that exam a ton from our, from our clients, from our uh, independent clients, from our carrier clients, so that we can just put any feedback that we get right into that course and make sure that it's doing the job to get people through that exam on the first try. We've had a lot of really good success with our New York course. In a similar fashion as to how we provide licensing and compliance training, we also really work to make sure that people know exactly what they need to do to, act, to get their license. So you can go on any state page on our website, it'll walk you through the process of each individual state. Some of those states are, hey, if you're 18 and you have a heartbeat, you're good to go, go get, go get your application done and you're good. Other states, you may be required to give any combination of certificates of completion, fingerprinting, bonds, police forms. Um, there, there are just many things that kind of comprise these applications and each state has their own rules and regulations on what's, what's involved there. Because each state has their own requirements, what we recommend pretty much across the board, is if you can get an all lines license with an exam, get your fingerprints done, you're gonna be in the best position possible to go and get as many reciprocal licenses as possible. 
So it might be that your home state doesn't require an exam or your home state doesn't require fingerprinting. Most of the time, we would encourage someone for their second state to choose a state that does require an exam, get an exam under your belt, choose a state that does require fingerprinting, so you have your fingerprinting under your belt, and then you can move forward and get the reciprocal licenses by having your home state license, having an exam complete, and having your fingerprinting done. So there, there are always ways that the industry is evolving. For a long time, CAT adjuster was the direction to go with, with pretty much everyone who wanted to be an adjuster. Uh, carriers started opening call centers, and, and all of a sudden, lots of adjusters were moving to the call center model, needing to get multiple licenses. If you're sitting in a call center, you can actually handle claims from all over the nation. You don't have to be on location, and so it, it really built this, this need for a lot of different licenses. Um, a lot of times what happens is those become cyclical. So you have a situation where a lot of people are, are flooding into these call center situations, working for carriers, working for IA firms that are opening up call centers to service the carriers that they service. And, and the catastrophe side of things gets a little neglected. And then a huge hurricane happens, and what happens? We need catastrophe adjust adjusters. So folks start working really hard, get their license as quickly as possible, so IA firms can fill all their deployments, um, which inevitably are gonna just skyrocket during, during hurricane situations or catastrophe situations. Sometimes there's plenty of adjusters to handle that type of stuff, but what's been happening because of these call centers is it, it leaves that gap when there are catastrophes. So we've had a, a slew of fairly recent hurricanes since 2017, and it's kind of tipped the scale back towards catastrophe adjusters where we were heavy on CAT adjusters for a while, maybe a little bit more shy on the daily adjuster side. And now we've gone back the other direction. So currently, we have a situation where a lot of people are working in call centers. We have adjusters who are handling daily claims. We have IA firms that are reporting to us that all of their current roster is, is being utilized on just daily claims. And we're heading into right now, for instance, a hurricane season. So what does that mean? It means there's gonna be a huge need for catastrophe adjusters again. And so even though the, the nuances of what's needed in a particular season changes a little bit, there's always a need for adjusters. And, and that's one, I guess, nice thing for folks who are considering it as a career. There's always gonna be a place. That, that, that place may change over the years. Maybe you do a CAD and then you settle into dailies. Maybe you start with dailies or a call center and that evolves, and that evolves into a catastrophe situation. But there's always adjusting work out there. Does it mean it's easy? It doesn't mean it's easy. It's, it's, it's something that you really have to work hard at. You gotta get your license, you have to be focused. It's not a, oh, I have my license, put your hand out, and, and now, I'm gonna, now I'm just gonna head off to work. You need to put in your time. We have resources on our site, um, adjusting firms that you can sign up with, hundreds of them, where, and we recommend get your name on as many rosters as you can. When you get your first, that first deployment or get those first claims, always say yes. Make sure that you go, you do them really well. One's gonna lead to two, two's gonna lead to 10, 10's gonna lead to 1,000, really. You know, if you can just do it, if you can just handle those really well, be prepared when you get that first, that first deployment, that first call, keep, keep getting your name out there, be diligent about it, don't get discouraged, call us if you need a pep talk, you know, all those things that, that if you just put in the time, you can be successful in this industry. I, I can, we've had, we've had multiple people, I can think of people by name who um, got done with their training. Hey, you guys, I don't have a job yet. We say, keep, keep working at it a month later. Hey, you guys, getting a little nervous here. Finally gets that first appointment and then we get a call a year later. Wow, I haven't stopped working since, since two months in and you know, making six figures. And it's pretty amazing. It's pretty life-changing for a lot of people. I mean, literally sometimes people don't have two nickels to rub together when they first, when they first take their licensing course and it changes their life. It's not easy work, but it's, it is work that can be very fruitful and, and very fulfilling if you just put the time in and, and the energy. And the great thing is it's, it's fulfilling from a financial perspective, obviously, but it's also fulfilling because you're helping people. You know, no matter whether you're working in a claim center or on a CAT situation or um, working daily claims, you're helping people get back to them something that they lost, you know, or at least make right um, financially for something that they lost. 
rebuilding their home, you know, that they may have lost in a fire or a flood. And so it's, it's just something that's, that's not just work that benefits your pocketbook, but really, really is fulfilling from a um, giving back to the world kind of standpoint. So recently we have a lot more people working at home and, and they're not able to, for instance, have someone come in when they're taking their pre-licensing course, which requires a monitor. Um, and have that person come into their home and and monitor their course, or they're not able to go out and get a notary um, to sign their affidavit of witness so that they can be compliant and actually get their first license. So that's that's kind of presented this this challenge to us where we say, okay, what do we need to do to, to help that situation? So just being able to offer online monitoring services, we've 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 instituted a an online proctoring um, into our pre-licensing courses so that anyone who goes through a pre-licensing course of ours, rather than needing to go and find a, a disinterested third party, which is the way you know it always needs to be, can register that way and just have their exam pro- online proctored uh, right there inside the course. We also have our in-house notary who is now approved as a remote online notary so that she can get on a Zoom meeting with, with any manager, any proctor, and and notarize their affidavit, which sounds like something small, but you know, if you're out in a small town and or or anywhere right now, and you're sheltering in place or whatever it is, having a notary get, getting to a notary is is has become more difficult. Even beyond that, it's something we are going to leave as a part of our course moving forward, because maybe you're in the field, maybe you're working as a CAD adjuster and you need a second, you need to be working on a CE course that requires a monitor or something like that. It's just great to have that in the course where online monitoring, online proctoring, remote online notary services are available. Kind of kind of uh, thrown a curveball, and it's, and it's allowed us to kind of enhance all of our courses, not just adding a state, but enhancing the courses that we already have to make them easier for the folks who are taking them. One thing that we really value and love about being in this adjusting industry is it really is a network, a network of great companies, um, great people working together. We, you know, we have our portion of that, um, but we're just a piece in this big, this big machine that is adjusting. And so we we really love the relationships that we have with other people in the industry that we can network with, that we can refer people to. So you know, you call us talking to one of our customer service or our sales folks, and you have a question and it's not something we do or it's not a question we can answer. It's not just a, hey, sorry. You know, it's, oh, you know who you can go for that information. You can go to this person to answer the question or you can go to this company for that course. The field of adjusting is is huge, um, made up of huge companies, smaller companies, vendors, compliance experts, um, folks who are just out there marketing the industry, you know, and and the ability for all of those those entities to network with each other is really important. It's not just a, oh, what can we do? If you don't if you don't need what we have, we don't have any use for you. It's more, hey, how can we work together to make sure that this industry is sound and moving forward and be united and becoming more uniform and automated and and make it the best industry that we can. One thing that we really feel sets us apart um, from a lot of folks is is our customer service team. Uh, We take pride in the fact that we answer our phones. We, We want to help adjusters, help managers who manage adjusters, help our corporate partners have solutions for their problems, but also um, have answers to their questions. Uh, So our customer service team, first of all, is amazing. They're just a great group of people who aren't just there to to go through the motions and maybe answer the same question a thousand times and sound like they're answering the question for the thousandth time, but who really care about the people they're talking to, Um, really make a great effort to connect with every caller and and not just from to the time where you hand, hang up the phone but but also just so that person knows hey we're going to be here for you to call to ask your questions even after you finish your course after you get your license need help getting into the industry you know we we want to help you pass the time where you're just getting your license take your course fill out your application but we're a resource for you moving forward as well getting on rosters getting into the industry, 
that's something that we want to continue to help you with. Definitely our customer service team, our customer engagement team of both our sales reps and our, our corporate accounts managers and our um, customer service people are there really to fulfill whatever needs, whatever questions that you have. One of the things that was really an impetus for us to move forward in regards to the number, the amount of products that we offer was being approached several years ago, eight to 10 years ago from corporate carriers. You know, these big carriers who would, didn't just need at the time a Texas or a Florida for their people, but they needed more of a solution that's national. What was happening was they may have managers all over the US or regional areas where they're all kind of doing their own thing. This manager is buying this from this vendor and um, or or this regional manager is handling everything just for that group, but there wasn't a lot of a lot of consistency. And what that does is not only not only does it create a situation for these these big firms where it's it's hard to tell, it's hard to it's hard to create I guess a standard operating procedure, but it also created a situation where they weren't able to utilize benefits of buying in bulk, right? So, so you have these situations where this manager is buying from this vendor 500 seats and this manager is buying from this vendor 200 seats and the scalability of that and, and the price breaks that, that come from that are nowhere near the price breaks of having more of a national solution. So we have people that would come to us and say, hey, do you have this date, or do you have CE for here? Or, and a lot of times our answer was no. Um, we had a situation for a while where we had every exam prep state, but we really are um, a company that isn't content with just having exam prep. So we started getting feedback, oh, this vendor changed, and our exam prep rates, pass rates, were hitting like the 50% mark, which maybe for some states that's good, but for us, we're like, that's not, that's not okay. So about nine years ago, we took all of our exam prep off the shelf. We said, hey, we're not going to relaunch these until we know that we they are up to the standard that we have for our pre-licensing. So we kind of set out on this pretty arduous five to six year process of relaunching all of our exam prep. And it was really once we got that, that we were able to say to these bigger corporate clients, okay, we're ready to be your national solution. We're ready for you to bring everything licensing under one roof and be able to fulfill all of those needs with one vendor in a way that's going to be the most beneficial for you because all your people are in one classroom, because you're gonna get the price breaks that you want. It's gonna you know, significantly decrease the amount of spending that you're, you're doing annually um, for licensing. Um, and then the natural follow-up there was, okay, wait, we only have CE for four states right now. And so that's been our next thing. And, and now we've launched CE in all states. So for the independent adjuster, all he might work, be interested in is, hey, can I get licensing and CE in Alabama? But for a manager of a bigger company, they really need to see that throughout all the states. And so being able to evolve from pre-licensing to pre-licensing plus exam prep for all states to now have CE for everything and appraiser licenses has really been a game changer for these national carriers to be able to bring everything under one roof. And really there aren't a lot of, there really aren't any companies who can offer that. We have, there are companies out there that can offer pre-licensing, there are companies that can offer exam prep, some that focus on CE, some that just have a few states, but for being a national solution for pre-licensing exam prep appraiser and CE across the board, I think we're the only ones who can, who can really say that, that that's what we offer. Currently there are 16 states that don't license adjusters, or at least independent adjusters. And um, so, like I said, we would recommend a DHS license for them. There are lots of options for a designated home state license. The things that we, want, would, we would say to people that you should take into consideration when you're looking for a good DHS is, does it have pre-licensing? Do you take an exam? Does it require fingerprinting? And what's the speed you're gonna get your license back? Um, weighing all of that, what we recommend is Florida. There are a couple states that you might get your license back a week earlier than Florida, but Florida checks all the boxes. So you can take a pre-licensing course with exam, so you don't have to go and sit for a state exam. You, it requires fingerprinting, um, but fingerprinting is fairly easy to attain in Florida. It, because it has the exam component checked off, that's, that's big for reciprocity. And then it usually is about a week to two week turnaround time. So 
You can take your course, maybe that takes a couple of weeks, you finish your exam, you get your fingerprinting, and within two more weeks you have your license, which is pretty amazing to be able to start to finish one month and you're, you're ready to handle claims. In Florida, you will need to be appointed. So if you work for a carrier, they're going to handle your appointment. But if you don't work for a carrier and independent, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you self-appoint. You can do it online. Um, it, we walk you through on our website kind of the process to do that, but it's just one more step that you're gonna to need to make sure you do before you go to work as a, as a claims adjuster in Florida. Having a solution for every state really is only beneficial if the product that we offer is a good product. So we put a lot of time into our classroom. Um, from an independent adjuster standpoint, can they get through their classroom in a in an easy way? Is it is it intuitive? Some of these folks haven't spent a lot of time on the computer, making sure that it's something that they can work in um, really easily and move forward with is important. Flipping it to the corporate side, it's very important for us to offer a, a solution to these managers that isn't just register your folks and hope for the best. Uh, we have we build branded classrooms for our corporate partners. We can have these classrooms up and running for a carrier or an IA firm literally within a couple of days. And managers can go in, they can register their people, they can see people's progress, they can do their reporting from there, they can see test scores, they can print out certificates. Uh, they have really the availability at their fingertips to see anyone that they've registered, what courses those people are in, run reports based on that, and really kind of have everything that you need within that classroom. Anything our classroom doesn't provide, we have our own IT people who just work directly with corporate managers to build solutions that will help them. We value, we really value our relationships with our clients, both on the individual level, but also on the obviously on the corporate side. And being their vendor, what re really means to us is developing a relationship with them where they can ask us for something and if we don't have it, we're gonna try to build it. We're gonna try to get it for them um, in a way that is collaborative and really provides the best solution for them. Not just necessarily what Adjuster Pro thinks they need, but what they tell us they need and we're gonna do everything that we can to, to fulfill that. And that starts with a great classroom. It starts with ability for our product to get their people in, to get their people through it, to get their people to pass their tests. That's the bottom line, right? You can put a thousand people in and if they're not passing their exams, then there's a problem. So we look at our pass rates, we evaluate that, we look at our questions, we look at them with our man corporate managers, we value their feedback, and we really try to make it as collaborative as possible to, to provide a solution that is a win-win. In addition to just the, the information that's on our website on the state pages, our blog is, is a great resource to go to, um, both from a product perspective, but also industry perspective, new adjusters getting into the industry, states that may have some weird new thing that they, they need to, that we wanna make sure people know about. Um, but we try to keep that as up to date and kind of fresh as possible. It's not a situation where you're gonna, you're gonna head into our blog and in two months you're gonna see the same articles. We, we really try to keep people informed about, about the industry, about directions the industry is going. Hey, what are IA firms doing right now? what types of certifications are, are out there now that are, that are necessary or available. Um, and, I, and we really take a lot of pride in trying to kind of stay ahead of the game a little bit in regards to that, keeping information in front of people. We also like to highlight different players in the industry, maybe some that, that aren't even necessarily uh, involved in the licensing side, but just to, just to keep in contact with you know, people in contact with other parts of the industry that are out there. So spotlight articles, vendor relationships, getting into the industry, um, things that might be around the corner, uh, states that are giving people a little trouble, earthquake certifications, that type of thing. So we try to provide timely information as much as possible on our blog. So it's a great place to visit on a regular basis. One key element of all of our training and maybe something that sets us apart from some of our competitors is we have unlimited um, access to all of our courses. If you do purchase one of our courses, you have lifetime access to it and updates are made in real time. So if you get through halfway through a course and take a little break, you can, you can rest assured that when you get back, any updates that have been made to that particular course are going to be made in the class that you have. 
So when you purchase a course from us, everything that you need is gonna be packaged right in that course. There's not any additional costs, no upsells or anything like that. Uh, we, have, we have practice exams, practice exams with feedback. We have quiz builders where you can choose which sections of the course you wanna, you wanna focus on. Um, it'll build a quiz for you with all the questions that you have. Uh, we have resources, we have our glossaries. Um, pretty much, yeah, anything that you need within the course that we have is gonna be a part of the package that you buy. One great thing about the adjusting industry is it has something for virtually anyone. You wanna travel, you can go be a cat adjuster. You need to stay close to home, you can be a daily adjuster. You wanna work eight to five, we have call centers. Um, man, woman, whatever you are, there's a, the adjusting field is, is not just open to you, but, but equal to pretty much everyone. Everyone as an adjuster really has, has all these opportunities for themselves. And um, it's a pretty dynamic and recession-proof field, which is just a really great industry to get into. If I could say one thing about our industry and Adjuster Pro and, and our role in our industry, it's that I'm just really thankful for the relationships that we have within Adjuster Pro, the people that I work with, um, to the, the people that we serve, the adjusters that we're able to come in contact with and, and, and develop a relationship with, to other vendors, um, to other folks in the industry uh, who are promoting the industry, to independent adjusting firms that we have great relationships with and, and have contact with on a monthly basis, um, to our corporate partners who we're just so thankful for that they trust us to be that, that national solution for them on a day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week basis, month-to-month, -month, year to year. Um, I, think, I think that's the piece that I'm probably the most thankful for in regards to our role in the industry is the relationships that we're able to build, the problems we're able to solve together, and yeah, the solutions that we're able to be a part of while working with people that we really, really respect and appreciate very much. We were really happy when we were able to start working with Adjuster TV because Matt and his team do so much to um, encourage the in people in the industry, to build up the industry, but also to help adjusters just get their good footing, just just be able to launch their careers in adjusting. And that's something that technically we don't do past the licensing stage for a lot of folks. And to be able to say, hey, Adjuster TV can can help take you to that next level and and move you forward and is gonna continue to help track your path and 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 keep things in front of you that you should be doing um, is just really, really a great partnership for us. So being able to work with Matt um, in a way that's beneficial to him because we can offer him something, but then also beneficial to us because he offers so much to our customers is, is really just a great win-win for us. Thank you. That was very nice. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> um, and plus, Matt's just so nice. Uh, <laughs> Head on over to adjustertv.com slash adjusterpro right now to make sure that you're ready to deploy. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm.